If you have ever used a search engine, you're probably familiar with something called phrase searching, where you type a phrase as long as you want into the search box and get lots of results. But library databases, which contain articles and books, and library catalogs, which give you directions to library resources, don't understand phrase searching. We'll be using Academic Search Premier one of our large interdisciplinary databases, as an example to talk about searching. You can get there from the Research Databases button on the library's homepage. Instead of phrase searching, Academic Search Premier and other library databases and catalogs use something called Boolean searching, which is based on principles set forth by mathematician George Boole. Boolean searching relies on keywords instead of phrases. Keywords can actually be one to three words, but they are short and we combine them using something called search operators. Boolean searching uses three search operator words, and, or, and not. When you use and to connect your search keywords, the database or catalog will only provide results that include both of your keywords and allows you to target the overlap of two topics, helping you narrow down your search to the most relevant results. When you use OR to connect your search keywords, the database or catalog will provide results that include either of your keywords by themselves, as well as results that include both of them together. Or, lets you broaden your search by including synonyms or related concepts. When you use not to connect your search keywords, the database or catalog will provide all the results that include the first keyword, except for those that also include the second keyword. Not is useful for excluding results that you don't want. Even if you choose great keywords and use Boolean operators effectively, you probably won't find all the information you need with one search. In the library world, we talk about searching as strategic exploration. It's an iterative or repetitive process. Every time you search, you learn something new that makes your next search better. That's where something called subject headings come in. Subject headings are words or phrases that describe the major topics covered in an article, book, or other source of information. When you search by keyword, you might get results that only mention your topic in passing. When you search by subject heading, you'll only get results that go into more depth. But there's a catch. You can't use just any word or phrase as a subject heading. You have to use the authorized term from a list that the catalog or database vendor provides. Different catalogs or databases may use different subject headings for the same topic. For example, our library catalog uses the same list of subject headings used at the Library of Congress. If I want to search for articles about how the law applies to airplanes, the correct Library of Congress subject heading is aeronautics dash law and legislation. But Academic Search Premier uses the subject term aviation law instead. The easiest way to find the right subject heading is to start with a keyword search for your topic, the way we did at the beginning of this video. Find an article you like in the list of results and look at its subject headings. Now that you know what term to use, try a new search by subject and see how much your results improve.